to the Personnel, Public Information, Human Relations, and Veterans Committee of Metro Council. Uh, I will start by, well, I'll start with the motion uh, pursuant to Governor Lee's Executive Order Number 71 regarding electronic meetings. I make a motion that this committee meeting agenda constitutes essential business of the Metropolitan Council and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Do we have a second? Second. Properly seconded. Uh, I will call the roll on the motion and that will also serve as our roll call for the meeting as I detect a quorum. Um, Council Member Roberts. Present. Uh, we're voting on the motion, so is that an aye? That's an I'm aye. just counting it as the roll call. Sure. Um, Vice Chair Hauser, uh, yes, you are here. Vice yes. Chair Hauser, how do you vote? Yes. Uh, and uh, I'm the uh, Chairman Rutherford, vote aye. Uh, Council Member Suara? Aye. Council Member Taylor? Aye. Council Member Withers. Aye. Council Member Young. Aye. Okay, moving to our agenda, which is a loan item all to itself. Uh, we have resolution RS 2021-703 by Tombs. Uh, approves a contract between the Metro government and Splash Business Intelligence Incorporated to provide support, maintenance, and technical development services for the Splash BI and GL Connect reporting solution within R12 of the Metro government. Uh, we also have a letter to approve from the council member uh, if she is not present, and I don't believe I see her on the list. So she is not present, but we do have the letter. Um, so I will make a motion uh, to um, to adopt. Uh, do we have a second for discussion? Second. 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 Properly seconded. Is there any discussion on the resolution? I don't know what the splash bi is. Can anyone explain what that is? I think it is something that came from the mayor's office in relation to um, a contract, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Um, so is there anyone on the line that can uh, give us a quick update on this? If yeah, there's no one from IT, oh, okay, IT. Yes, sir. Yeah, I am here. Uh, this is Don Clark from ITS. Um, yes, I recognize. Yeah, Splash BI is uh, the reporting solution that's embedded into R12, which is our enterprise enterprise uh, system. Uh, you know, so it's um, the this this sole source contract is um, for the annual support and maintenance renewal of that product, as well as um, you know the the ability to do uh, managed services for uh, report development on a DBA and consulting for from that that vendor on you know the reports and um, I sent a memo to the overall council on this and there's um, it's, it's fully embedded into the enterprise wide system with standard reports as well as custom reports totaling more than 1500 and counting at this point for all the areas across you know finance HR benefits payroll uh, all, all, the, all the areas within that. So that's what this contract is for. So is this a continuation okay. of services and software that we're currently using, or is this a new system? No, it's 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 a continuation of what uh, it was. It was part of the implementation of R12. Uh, this solution okay. was part of that implementation, um, and originally, that during the implementation, we were we were covering this through the implementing partner. Um, and then um, and then we've, we've broken this out into its own sole source contract with, with Splash BI at this point. Okay, thank you. Hmm? Hey, can you address the sole source uh, part of this uh, contract as to why, why it is sole source as opposed to being open? Michelle, do you wanna address that part of it? 
Yeah, sure. Um, hello, this is Michelle Hernandez Lane. I'm the uh, purchasing agent with Metro. Um, when looking at procurement activity, I mean, we have available to us some options, including sole source. We don't take that lightly. Um, when we make the decision that um, something or a, a purchase specifically is sole source, um, that means either there is only a single source or there is a proprietary compatibility um, that needs to be considered. If you review the procurement regulations, um, there's kind of a list of items that are automatically approved for sole source by virtue of the nature of those types of items. Uh, included in there is high technology equipment and software. Even though the procurement regulations give us that option, we will always procure things uh, to the maximum extent when it is feasible to do that and it makes sense to do that. In the sense or instance of uh, something like this, a contract such as this, where the implementation of the R12 product had baked into it um, these, these uh, reports, and, and Don and I and Keith Durbin, we've all had a lot of conversations so that we can all feel comfortable that this is the only option for us, that we should not be soliciting it. Um, but because these reports are built into the system and they're part and parcel of a number of reporting mechanisms for a number of departments across Metro, our option here, if we were to solicit it, would potentially mean that we basically have to undo that full portion of work um, for reports that are built into R12. And that is definitely not in Metro's best interest. So in the instance of, of this particular um, contract, we determined that it was in Metro's best interest to maintain the continuity and the compatibility of the existing reporting. And that's why we've requested the sole source. Um, typically, just because the, the regulations allow us uh, to procure items as a sole source, we will still make every effort where it makes sense. Um, to, to solicit those and to maximize competition because we believe it is in Metro's best interest. But in a situation such as this, um, it was clear that the uh, alternative to invoking that um, available option in the regulations was simply not in Metro's best interest and would actually be more uh, physically disadvantageous to Metro. Okay, and I would also just sort of follow that up, and I appreciate all that detail, uh, but I would follow that up with, um, uh, in relation to sole source, is, is this uh, is this new to sole source, or has this been sole source all along? Um, I think that the answer to that question, and when, when you say is this new, I think you mean this specific procurement activity, right? Um, well, it, it, well, I guess that would, I guess the, to answer that first off would be to clarify whether this is a new contract or an existing contract that's being renewed. And if it, if it is a renewal, is it, has it been sole source previously? Um, so it is, it is a new contract. And as Ms. Clark mentioned, um, when we implemented the, the R12, um, you know, installation, the implementing partner, uh, included this as the mechanism for providing reports. Well, Metro has the responsibility, and Don, please feel free to step in when I'm out of my lane, no pun intended, um, on, on this, um, you know, functionally how this works. Um, but they included uh, this splash, you know, business intelligence piece as how they would produce the reports. And so what that did, in essence, is kind of created that as the venue, but by which Metro would get reports from R12. So this is, uh, now that the implementing partner has, and, and Don again speak to this, but it's kind of winding down their activity with Metro and we've got our product up and running, we now have to pick up the, the uh, procurement method or the procurement, um, mechanically, the procurement activity to make sure we have ongoing maintenance for these reports. And that's what this contract is. That's correct. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I appreciate all that detail. Uh, thank you for, for going into all of that. I'm sorry. Did I, did I step on you? Did you have something else? Well, and you forgive me for the interruption. I, I apologize. I did want to make sure that everyone understood that this was a five-year contract um, that's being proposed and the value of that contract is over that period of time. We are not bound necessarily to that five-year period. Um, if ITS comes back to us and says, look, we want to think about this a little differently, 
um, then we have that option. And if solicitation is, um, you know, available, given that we could do that. But given how this uh, reporting mechanism is, again, really so embedded and integrated into the product, um, that probably would not be an option. And we may see ourselves, you know, five years from now, thinking about, uh, and ITS can speak to what our long-term vision would be, but thinking about perhaps having another solicitate, I mean, another uh, contract uh, down the road. Okay, okay. I, I know this uh, also went before budget um, yesterday, and um, I was not on the line for that committee meeting. So if, if there's anyone who was that wanted to address anything that um, might have come up during budget that would be helpful to us, um, appreciate hearing that now. We, we approved it on consent in budget. Okay, okay. Good news, good news. Thanks for that. Uh, I don't see any hands. Are there any other questions from uh, members of the committee? Then, if not, um, uh, uh, Chairman, yeah, just, yes. just just because we've been recorded, um, it was not on consent. It was pulled out of consent by uh, Councilmember Bertram. But I think the question that she raised is already addressed in all the comments that you have. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that update. I appreciate that. Uh, and that's, please, uh, it, that's my yeah. mistake that it was it was okay. originally on consent but it got pulled that's right thank you councilman okay. yes thank you thank you for that and i believe um i believe i saw council member tombs um on the line now uh, council member uh, this is your bill we announced that we had the letter to approve but before we take the vote did you have any any comments before no, Chair, I don't have any comments. I appreciate thank you. your support. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Then um, with no further comments or discussion, then we are ready to, to uh, vote. Um, so we'll, I'll, call a, I'll call the roll. Council Member Roberts. Yes. Vice Chair Hauser. Yes. The Chair votes yes. Council Member Suara. Yes. Council Member Taylor. Aye. Council Member Withers. Aye. Council Member Young. Aye. And that's seven in favor, zero against, and the Motion um, carries on resolution RS 2021-703. Uh, that was the only item before us. Does anyone have any additional um, items for the committee? If not, then we are adjourned. Thank you very much.